Hello everyone, welcome to Clash Encoder. So in this video, we will see the question 345 that is reverse vowels of a string. So this is an easy level question and it can be asked in an interview for like Amazon, Google and Facebook etc. as a starting question or as a ending question also because it is an easy and refreshing question. So it is based on string as the name suggests. So let's see the problem statement. Then I will explain you two uh, different type of solutions and with different time complexities for this problem. So let's see, write a function that takes a string as input and reverse only the vowel of a string so it is a modification of normal string reversal question so here you can see this is the input that we're given so actually if you know vowels are only uh, vowels are like a i o u a i e o u so this is that those are the vowels and the other the leftover characters are actually consonants so we don't have to reverse the consonants the consonants in this word will remain at their original position and all the vowels will be reversed so you can see with the input that we are given is hello and it will be changed to h o double -L, l e and you can see h is a consonant so it will its position will not be changed you can see h is still here so here you can see e is a vowel and here o is a vowel so they will be swept so e will be swept to the o because it is a vowel so its position will be reversed and you can see l, l, l will stay, uh, stay at same place because it is not a vowel so here a quick note is given that vowels do, uh, does not include the letter l so sorry why so you would be knowing that so actually let's see the explanation for with the different example you can see here the input is lead code and the output will be l e o t c e d e so how it is coming if you have not understood so i will explain you again so you can see here i have written the so uh, a quick reminder that here we are not given that the characters in the word will only be lower case characters so i also failed one test case because of this so the characters can be uppercase also so lowercase also so you will have to notice that so here you can see this is the input that we are given so lead code so as you know we have to reverse only the vowels so you can see i have written the vowels also a e i o u so these are the vowels so when you see in this input string we know that consonant's position will not change so we can simply write them like this you can see l is consonant t is consonant and c and d also is consonant so here you can see these are the vowels so vowels are here you can see e this e and this o and this e so these will be reversed so you can see they are in order e e o and e so it will be reversed and it will become e o you can see e o and e and e so this will be uh, what we have to do so you can see now if we reverse them it will become e and here it will become o and here it will become e and e and you can see this is the output that we are trying to find so there can be two ways to solve this question actually it is an easy level question so first of all if you are like uh, asked this question in an interview you can simply tell him the easy solution or using a stack so the first solution will be using a stack it will be actually uh, using a stack so it is uh, the stack is actually lifo so it is last in first out so the element that is added in the uh, uh, this stack first will be popped at last because the all the elements after coming this uh, uh, which will come after this will be added after uh, after this so when you pop so it is a way we can pop and push at only one place so this element will be popped before the element added before it so e will be popped at last so that is why it is known as last in first out so let's see how we can use the stack for solving this problem actually so actually stack is also used for reversing a normal string so we can use uh, we can modify this problem to use the stack so let's see how we can do that. So you can see this is the input string that we're given. So now what we have to do is we have to initialize a stack and we have to initialize a result variable in which we have to return or what uh, we have to return. So let's see. So now what we'll do is we'll traverse over this string the given string you can see I have written the pseudo code also so first step will be to traverse over the string and we will check if the current character that we are on so it will be traversing uh, from left to right so we'll check if L is a vowel so L is not a vowel so E is a vowel the, we all the vowels that we will find if we will add it into a stack so E is a vowel so E will be added here you can see E will be added here so now again next e so it is also a vowel so it will be added in this stack so now when we see t so it is not a vowel c not a vowel o is a vowel so it will be added in a stack so e uh, d is not a vowel e is a vowel so it will be added also in the stack so now why we are using stack so as you know stack reverses the uh, string that we added in so now if you pop the string one by one uh, out of uh, all the characters out of the stack one by one so we will get e o and e and e this is what we want so this will be the reversed order of the vowels so now let's see how we can use this so until this time we have our stack and we have all the vowels in the stack in the reverse order so now what we have to do is we have our result variable so now we will again traverse over the string and we will check if this current letter or this current character is a vowel so l is not a vowel you can see this is the step that we are going on this three so for every character in string if the character is vowel so it is not vowel so it we can simply add it to the result because we don't have to change change its position you can see it will be simply added result plus character so character is the current character so now when we come to e so e is a vowel so that means we have to add the 
uh, right side vowel instead of this so it will be in the stack so when we pop the uh, element from the stack when we pop the top of the stack it is e and this e is at the right side so it will be simply uh, we will simply add you can see result plus s dot pop so s dot pop is e so e will be added after this l e will be added so actually uh, i am writing it in capital and uh, let me change it so i will write it in capital only so it will be l and then it will be e so now when we come to this e this e is also a vowel this character is a vowel so again we will add this s dot pop so uh, this e is already popped so we have o in the top of the stack so it will be added o is added here now you can see it is starting to reverse the vowels so now when you see t so t is not a vowel so it will be simply added you can see this condition else result plus is equal to character now when we come to c c is not a vowel so it will simply added now o so o is a vowel now our stack has only two is left so these are actually popped elements these are popped now when you see so we will simply add the stack to top so stack to top is e so e will be added here now when we come to d so d is not a vowel d will be simply added now when we come to this e so this e is a vowel you can see this e is a vowel so this condition will be true so we will simply add result plus uh, is equal to stack pop so stack has this top element this e is only left so this will be added so this is how th we can simply use a stack for solving this problem so if you tell this uh, solution in uh, to, to the interviewer so he will be happy to see that you have used a stack for solving this type of problem so he has you can also tell that, uh, him that uh, this is a application of stack if you, you are asked a question in an interview that what is a stack and what are its applications so you can tell this problem statement also and explain him he will be really impressed so now when he tells uh, you to modify this question and actually optimize the solution optimize the time complexity as you know we are using a stack so it will be o of n as the worst case can be the all the L, uh, all the characters in uh, this uh, word that we given are vowels so it will be uh, so stack will take o of n uh, o of n space so all the elements will be added into the stack so n is actually the size of the string and the time will be o of n only because we are traversing the string it will be actually 2n because we are traversing the string first for uh, finding the vowels and uh, pop adding them to the stack and other will be to this uh, popping them and reversing the string so actually at the last you can see we have got the result and you can simply return the result so now to optimize this solution to use o of one space or to actually uh, use a constant space so let's see how can we do that so let's see the next solution will be actually choosing two pointers so this will be actually when we reverse a string we can use a simple two pointer approach to reverse a string so now will we use same approach with adding more conditions for uh, reversing only the vowels instead of the consonants so here two conditions occur so first of all we have to initialize two pointers so first will be at zero and next will be at n minus one you can see this is the initialization so now we will un run a while loop and we will check if the both uh, the pointers earlier characters the po uh, pointers uh, are pointing to this first character and the last character if both are vowels then we will simply swap them if they are not not the vowels so if both are not vowels we will simply increment this pointer to the right side and decrement this pointer to the left side this will be i and this will be j so if one is vowel and one is not vowel if for example we are on this e okay our pointer is in on this e and on the, this d so now when you see both are not vowels and uh, both are not consonants so one is vowel and one, co one is consonant so we'll have to add a condition if this is a consonant we will simply decrement it if it is a vowel we will not do anything we will not decrement it so let's see so you can see this is a pseudo code also i've written you can see here the, this is a pseudo code and uh, we have initialized i to 0 and j to n minus 1 and we will run a loop while i is less than j and we will check if both the characters are vowels so that means we have to rever uh, reverse them or swap them actually so we'll simply swap them and we will increment our i and decrement our j so first of all we will initialize him at this point you can see and if you will check if, if both are vowels so you can see l is vowel, l is not a vowel but e is a vowel so this condition will be not true so we will come into else part as i told you in else part also there will be two conditions either both are consonants or either one of them is consonant so here you can see s of i is not a vowel so s of i is not a vowel so that means we don't have to swap it so we'll simply increment this pointer so this pointer will be incremented because we don't have to change the position of consonant so consonant position will be same so now the next condition will be we will check if s of j is not a vowel so this is not true this is a vowel so this is not true this will be not a running because we have to swap this so we cannot uh, decrement our pointer without swapping it so now again next situation will come so you can see if both are vowels s and s of i and s of j yes e and e both are vowels so we will swap them and after swapping because the uh, position is same actually so it will be uh, looking same only you can see till this one it will be looking same now we will increment up i pointer to the next character and we will decrement the j pointer and we will check while i is less than j or yes this condition is true i is less than j i is 2 and j is 6 so now we will again check e and t both are not vowels 
and uh, both are not constants also so this condition will run you can see if s of i is not a vowel s of i is a vowel so that means we have to swap this element but here you can see s of j is a consonant it is not all this condition is true so that means we will simply increment j because uh, decrement j because we don't have to swap this consonant so it will be simply decremented now we have this uh, do this two characters you can see e and o so this condition will be true i is also less than j so you can see we will swap them because both are vowels so when we swap them it will become o here and e will come you can see d is still here and e will come here so now when we uh, change them you can see so our pointers will decrement so it will come here and it will come here you can see i will increment and j will decrement so now again t and c t and c are both uh, not both are vowels so you can see both are vowels this will be false now else uh, we will come to else part you can see s of i is not a vowel so yes it is true i will increment i will come at this point and j will decrement so j will come at this point so now i becomes greater than j so this condition is false so we will simply break so at last you can see we will get this uh, string so actually we are modifying the original string so we are not using extra space also in python we will have to convert the string to the list because string is immutable but here in c++ we can simply modify the string so you can see it will become l e o t e e and d -E. you can see this is the output that we want so this is actually uh, this is yeah this is c so you can see this will be the output and the time complexity as i told you will be o of n because we are only traversing the string one time and this while loop and the space will be o of uh, one because we are not using any extra space like here we were using the stack and we were storing it into a um, variable now here we are uh, simply modifying the input argument that we have got and we are returning it simply so this will be simply o of n and o of one space uh, solution so let's see the uh, code i will show you the code in python and i will also provide the code in the description i will show the code for both the solutions so let's see so as I told you, the first solution will be actually taking a bit more time complexity and space complexity. So let's see. So you can see this is uh, the stack. Actually, you can, in Python, you can simply use a list to create a stack. You can see. So this will be a result variable. And here you can see we will be traversing over the string for each character in the string. We will check. As I told you, uh, in the input can be uh, uh, in upper characters also and lower characters also. So here I have used i dot lower. If i dot lower is in is a vowel, so we will simply append it to the stack. And again, the next step will be to traverse over the string and we will check if that character is a vowel that means we have to reverse it so we will simply pop the element from the stack and add it to the result otherwise it is if it is not a vowel so we will simply add the current character to it as it is a consonant and we don't have to change its position and we will simply return the result so let's sim submit this solution so i've also written the time complexity you can see for this and i will also provide both the solution in the github link so you can check it from there so now let's run the next solution so i will simply comment this down and i will uncomment this so this is an exclusion as i told you we will have to convert the string into first of all uh, the list we will convert the string into the list then we will uh, create a variable that is vowel so it will be e e i o u and it will be in capital also so we will uh, first of all initialize our two pointers and we will run a while loop and we will keep checking if the current character and the both the characters at the both the pointers or the both the positions are vowels and we will simply swap them so you can see we will swap them and we will simply increment our i and decrement our j else if they are not vowels so that means they will be consonant so if it is consonant we will simply increment i and otherwise if it is not consonant so we will not increment our i so that is why we have uh, run this condition because if we simply increment our i if it is also a vowel so that means our vowel will not be reversed so it will be wrong solution so that is why we have written this uh, condition you can see if condition and other and at the last as i told you we have used a, this is our list actually so and we have to return the string so you can see we have to return the string type so this will be syntax in the python so it will join all the elements of the list with this uh, without space you can see this is without space so we will simply return a string this will be a string so let's submit the solution and see the time complexity and if you uh, try to submit this to C++, you will get a better time, time complexity. And you can see, we have got better time complex, uh, complexity than the previous solution. And it ran faster than 95.17% of the solution. And it took less memory than 88.55% of the solutions. So thank you for, guys for watching this video. I hope you like this video. So do like this channel and uh, like this video and subscribe to this channel for more such videos. And I will also provide the code in the description. Thank you for watching guys.